David Stewart again, back in the world's loudest studio. Uh, this time I don't have a saxophone player blaring. I have a clarinetist and a violinist, so it's not, not quite as bad as normal. Um, I'm going to continue my classical and flamenco guitars technique series. I don't remember what video I'm on anymore. Um, these aren't even really basic techniques. The last video was a Roschiato pattern, which is a more advanced technique that we do see it. Um, it's necessary for flamenco, and we do see it sometimes in classical music as well. So, what I'm going to talk about is the Roschiato pattern that I do, that I do with my right hand, okay? Um, I don't do this one that much. Sometimes I do AMII, but I do this one. I-S-A-M-I. -I. And you will see this one in any of the Juan Serrano books, um, whether it's the basic fl uh, flamenco techniques book that Melve publishes or concert selections or any of his books will be notated with this. I-S-A-M-I. -I. S is the pinky. Again, S doesn't really stand for anything, but we just use it to represent the pinky. And if you want to practice this, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on the right hand of the guitar again. Just put your thumb here on the sixth string. Okay? You're on the sixth string. There we go. And you're going to practice. Let's go ahead and silence the strings. Ah. S. I. S. I. S. A. I. S. A. This is a very challenging pattern, I feel like. I. S. A. M. I. I. S. A. M. I. So go very slowly. You want to start really slowly. And when you're doing this, you want to really have that come in and that go out. Eventually, there'll be an exchange. I, S. That one goes in as that one comes out. I, S, A, M, I. Nice and articulate. Okay? Once you are able to play faster, try it as a flurry of notes. You're going to be able to use it in context in flamenco. In Bulerias, for instance, or. Soliaris. Okay? Once you're good with one, one E and a two, one set of 16th notes, then you can try doubling it. And you can do two sets of 16th and I do that a lot in Soliaris because it's slow. Okay, so I do that a lot in Soliaris because um, we can fill up a lot of space with it. I do it sometimes in Faruka as well. So I do that a lot in Faruka, da, 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 do two in a row. And you can even do three in a row as a phrase ending. You can do three in a row or something like that. So I like this one a lot because I feel like it's very easy to just do over and over again. Um, it has a great aggressive sound, and when you do it right, it'll sound like machine guns playing on your guitar. It's a great, it's a great technique. So practice that. You'll find it in all of Juan Serrano's music. Um, if you listen to his music, this is the one that he, he uses most often. And it's the one that I use most often. Um, it's a little old school, but nothing wrong with old school. It sounds great. So um, have fun with that. David Stewart out.